Where are we going today? We're Where? going to Scream Hill at a brewery. At a brewery. Brewery. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in Central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this sounds like you, consider hitting the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the little bell so that you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. Every day I get to work with some of the coolest people in the world relocating to my area. Many of them living here but commuting to New York City every day. If this sounds like you and you're looking for a place to live, call me, I've got your back. One of the benefits about living in my area is that you're centrally located in the state, which means you get to take advantage of all the wonderful things that New Jersey has to offer. Today, we decided to take a day trip down to the Screamin' Hill Brewery. This brewery is truly unique and one of a kind in the entire state of New Jersey. It's actually located right on the farm where they make all of the ingredients they use to brew their beer. The Bullock Farm is located about 45 minutes from where we live in Woodbridge, New Jersey. All you have to do is hop on the turnpike and head down. with Brett, you are part of the family that owns the farm, correct? Yes. Great, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the history of the farm and history of the brewery? Sure, so my family has been on this uh, farm since 1860, uh, and we've been farming here ever since then. So I'm a sixth generation farmer. I run the farm with my uh, mother and my father. Um, so then separately, my friends and I, uh, about five years ago, decided to start a brewery on the farm. We had been home brewing together for a long time uh, and had this idea of starting a brewery and then I had recently come back to work on the family farm and we kind of had this idea of combining the farm with the brewery idea, you know, mm -hmm. growing the ingredients for the beer uh, on the farm. And so then we started the brewery and uh, we started growing ingredients for beer in 2014 okay. and uh, we opened the brewery in 2015. And you guys are the only ones in New Jersey set up like this, right? All the breweries in the state, you guys are the only ones that are on the farm growing the ingredients here. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's, that's that's really awesome, you guys. I mean, that makes it worthwhile coming here. How big is the whole farm? Uh, 175 acres, acres wow. is this home farm that we're based out of, and we probably farm uh, 400 acres in total. So what exactly do you grow here that you use at the brewery? So the brewery uses our, the main ingredient is barley uh, that we grow. It's, it's malting barley for making beer. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a specific variety of barley. Um, so right now we produce probably roughly 90% of the malt in every beer that we make is grown on the farm here. Oh, wow. Um, so most of that's barley. We also grow our own wheat and rye. So mm -hmm. some of our specialty beers that have those grains in, we grow as well. Uh, we grow seven varieties of hops. We wow. grow a lot of ancillary ingredients like fruits and vegetables that make it into seasonal beers. Like right now our biggest beer, well not now, it'll be out in a few weeks, is our pumpkin beer. Mm. So every of batch, every batch of pumpkin, yeah exactly, everybody <laughs> wants a pumpkin. pumpkin. <laughs> so every batch of pumpkin has like 100 pounds of fresh pumpkin in it that we wow. process. 100 pounds. Um, we grow habaneros, we do a habanero ale 
most Ooh. of the time. It's not on right now, but it, it, it varies. I'd love to have tried that. Yeah, it's a really, <laughs> it's like a cult classic. Bad. Some black raspberries. We do, and next week we're coming out with uh, heirloom ale, which is with <laughs> our heirloom tomatoes, basil, and okay. then uh, sea salt, and we grow the tomatoes and the basil. Um, so That's our goal unique. is to grow as much as we can right on the farm mm -hmm. and create beer out of it. So how many different beers on average do you guys offer? Uh, right now we have 16 on tap. That's mm -hmm. been pretty steady. We usually yeah. have anywhere from 14 to 16 um, on tap. So lots of different kinds of beers, different uh, light beers, hoppy beers, dark beers. We do some um, some different stuff. We do some sours and some funky farmhouse ales. Mm -hmm. um, we try to mix it up and do as much different stuff as we can. What uh, days and hours are the brewery open? So the brewery is open year round. Fridays and Saturdays. Fridays are three to eight. Mm -hmm. Saturdays are one to six. And then for the fall season, we open up on Sundays as well because we have people here for pumpkin picking. So Sundays from uh, September 22nd through Halloween is 12 to five. What is your most popular beer right now? Right now, I would have to say it's probably Desperado IPA, okay. which is like our classic IPA that we have on as much as possible that sells really well. If people want to come here and hang out, how do they try the beer? What do they do? So you can come in and try a sample, uh, you know, a flight with four different samples. Mm -hmm. um, we offer pretty much everything in a flight. We also uh, do pints of uh, pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we do growlers to go. We don't can or, or package very much. We bottle every once in a while some of our specialty barrel aged beers, but for the most part, um, the beers to go is pretty much growler fills. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we give tours in the brewery of, uh, you know our brew house and tell people the story of the farm mm -hmm. uh, and then you get a you get to sample some beers here and enjoy the outside enjoy the farm yep. can you you said that you very rarely bottle or can so you can't get any of your beer in the store is that correct nope no no, no bottles and cans we are in some bars and restaurants on tap okay. we're in probably 30 different bars and restaurants kind of right in central jersey kind of like from princeton to the sh to the shore okay um you can find us on tap at some some places great yeah so if somebody wanted to come visit, tell them where you're located. So we're located in Cream Ridge on 83 Emily's Hill Road. We're five minutes from Six Flags. We're easily easy to get to off of the Turnpike and 195. If somebody wanted to come visit and they wanted to come about uh, to one of your events, how do they find out about it? Pretty much social media is the best thing. Mm -hmm. um, the um, Everything for the brewery is just Screaming Hill, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a website that is, that is pretty up to date. It's just ScreamingHill.com. Uh, the farm. And that's, oh, I'm sorry, that's Screaming, no G, correct? No G. Screaming Hill. The farm as well, a little bit on social media, but also our website is pretty up to date. It's just bullockfarms.com. Where did the name Screaming Hill come from? It came from that church up there. Um, so back at the turn of the century, like in the late 1700s, mm -hmm. there was a, a family that lived right down the hill called the Coward family. Okay. was their last name. They uh, had some kind of hell-raising kids that became hell-raising adults. One of them became, uh, well, he found God, became the preacher up at that church. That church is hundreds of years old. And uh, the story is that he had these big, like, you know, like fire and brimstone type sermons um, where everybody was yelling and screaming. Oh. So this, that became known as Screaming Hill from that, you know, late say, 1700s, early 1800s kind of story. And when my... Uh, grandfather was around he referred to this area as Screaming Hill so like when my dad was growing up and they were out somewhere my dad would say let's go home to Screaming Hill and I never heard that name when we asked my uh, parents if we could build a brewery on the farm my dad said sure what are you going to call it Screaming Hill and that was the first time I'd ever heard that name and I said I don't know what that is but yes that's what we're going to call it and it's got some <laughs> cool history it's you know it's what my grandfather used to call the area and that's that's where it came from and your family still lives on the farm, right? Yeah, that's the house I grew up in. My parents still live there. There's three houses on the farm. It's my dad and his two brothers that live here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a big family farm in central Jersey. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. We've had a blast. Uh, my family, we brought tons of food. We've been enjoying the beers, and it's been a really great time. So I just want to thank you for chatting with me for a few awesome. minutes. Thank you for coming out.
much for watching. And thank you to Brett, Greg, the Bullock family, and everybody else on the farm that made us feel so welcome. We really had a great time. I highly recommend you take a trip out and enjoy it for yourself. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you know anybody that would enjoy this video as well, please share it with them. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you for your continued support. You know, I really enjoy making these videos for you every single week. And my goal is to make the content that you're looking for. So if you have an idea for a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to drink responsibly and I'll see you next week. Thank you so for- <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Farmer. Rusty farmer. farmer. You're supposed to be exiting. We just missed our exit. Really good beer. Come out the screaming oh, yeah. hill, you'll love it. Oh, that was